and welcome to your reading for October the 9th through the 15th. This is a general reading, Cancer. If you would like a more focused, personalized reading, and I do highly recommend personal readings. If I'm not just saying for me, with anyone, it's really good to get a personal reading every now and again. And um, so that information, if you would like one with me, of course, you can get that in the uh, subscription, in the description box below where it says show more. Press on that on YouTube or there's, you know, if you're looking at it on your phone, it's like a little arrow on the top right. And also this is for your sun, moon and rising. So if you know your moon and rising, links to the other videos will be below also. Um, thank you, thank you for the love and the comments. Oh, I really appreciate you guys. So if you would comment again, I always respond to comments. Um, and I really welcome feedback. And um, so please like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I don't mean just please like. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, share if you feel inspired and please subscribe if you haven't already. Now, uh, let's go to the cards, shall we? Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. Look. That's exhaustion. That's real exhaustion. This is really reminding you to rest, rest and sleep. I know I'm terrible with that. I'm a cancer too and this is definitely a message for me. I know that because I tend to be up late and I'm working and then I get up early and then I don't rest enough. So this is saying rest. Now, also for me, when I see this card, I think it's, you know, it's reminding me to meditate more. You know, when I do the readings, I meditate a lot. So it's changed my life in that respect because I constantly connect with source energy for the readings, you know. Um, so this can be meditation and, um, but definitely get rest. You can't function unless you get rest. You know, you tend, if you're not totally rested if you haven't slept well you know you tend to be up in your head a lot and it's not a good thing to be up in your head a lot so that's reminding you and then darling we have the seven of swords oh my god we've got the four seven and eight all together and i'm telling you this is all kind of well look what i'm getting from this the seven i always say seven is an introspective card it's about going in but this is about look Cancer, you know how generous you are and how you give a lot away. Sometimes you give too much away and this is saying, look, be discerning about who you're giving your time to and your energy to because there are energy vampires out there and there's people that are just going to take advantage. And it's easy to take advantage of Cancerians because we're so giving and so loving and we just want to give. That's in our nature. We love giving, you know. Um, so this is saying, listen, just sit back this week and just don't, don't give too much away. And, um, you know, listen, you know, the ones that are, you know, the people in your life, that's a two way street and they give to you. They're the ones you give to. Don't give the ones that just take, 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 you know, just be discerning. And definitely, if somebody is asking you for something, go inside and connect with Source Energy first, seven, right? Go inside and connect with them, with, uh, sorry, with Source Energy so that you can make the right decision. Is this the right time or the right person to give this to? Um, so always, you know, always consult Source um, so that's what I'm getting because this can mean like somebody stealing from you but you know if you're giving it to them they're not stealing it right but you have to take responsibility of who you're giving to um, and don't you know don't don't just give your it's giving your energy away too you know so and we have the eight of swords this is telling me that you feel trapped you're feeling trapped somewhere. You're trapped in a relationship, tra trapped in a job, trapped in an apartment. You're feeling trapped. Something is bogging you down. And it's interesting, look, because we've got the four of coins. 
and that's about letting go of something that's not working for you anymore. So something's not working for you, Cancer, and you've got to figure that out. It's either a relationship, it's a, maybe an apartment that's not working for you, maybe it's a job, a person, a friendship, and you kind of feel trapped. I have a feeling, I'm getting it's somebody that's, somebody that's taking something from you. And this is holding on to something that no longer works for you. And it's like, first of all, what's really interesting for me, right, is Mercury and the Sun are squaring Pluto. So the, you're going to see this, you're going to know. You need to stop feeling trapped and take your power back and move on. You don't have to you don't have to give everything to everyone you know you don't have to give all your energy to these to people you've got your own stuff to deal with cancer you know you can't give all that time and energy to people who don't appreciate you really and it's really making you feel trapped and they're sucking the energy they're sucking the energy out of you and for some reason you're holding on to it and you're not moving on What's interesting is we're going to see the truth in the situation. We're going to see the deeper meaning in things. We're not going to contemplate. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to, we're going to seek out our tribe and be with our tribe. And we're not going to take, we're not going to be having conversations with people that suck our energy anymore. We're just not, we can't. We're moving into this energy that's not going to allow us to do it anymore. We're just, you know come out of that illusion of being trapped you're not trapped you have the power take your power back don't let this person don't let this person steal all your power your energy and your time you know don't give it away right let it go let go of it it's not working for you anymore and you're going to see that and i see some really cool things as well so let go of that don't you're not trapped it's an illusion take your power back but get rid of that person you know what I mean you don't have to concretely say you've got a boundaries that's what I'm getting boundaries put boundaries in place don't hang on to it drop it move it keep it moving and you've got the queen of wands darling and she's incredible she's like the party goer she's she can hold a whole room i want to say hostage but they're not held hostage they're just enjoying her they can they she beguiles everyone right she beguiles everyone she's attractive she's passionate she's creative she's stunning right let go of all this right get some rest rejuvenation don't allow these people to take whoever it is to take your power and your energy because you're being you're depleted from it you need to rest you need to take care of yourself physically definitely getting physically take care of yourself put boundaries in place she has boundaries darling she treats you amazingly but cross her and she's no joke. The tyrannical fire will come out and eat you up. <laughs> you may not survive. So this is, this to me is also saying be kind and compassionate with people. So when, as you're letting this go, be kind and compassionate, but let it go for sure, drop it. But you can be kind and compassionate and letting something go and drawing your boundaries you don't have to be hard-edged but you know bring levity into the situation have some fun this is about enjoying life don't forget to enjoy your life cancer you know sometimes you forget that you're all work and you're all about helping other people and this is about look put the focus on you a bit you know really enjoy your life go out live it be with people you know you're great. This is like the party. This is the center of attention, the party goer. This is like all eyes on me. And that's interesting, right? Because we've got the sun. 
sun shining a light on you, Cancer. Things are really looking up. But you have to let this go. You have to let this sense of entrapment go. Let this person go. Or people. Don't, don't entertain people who are sucking you dry and taking advantage of you. You know, it's easy to take advantage of a Cancerian. <laughs> you know, it's very easy. Um, so the sun is shining a light. This is telling you really have fun. Look, I'm getting the page of wands, look. And the queen of wands. This is good news is coming. You've got a fabulous opportunity here. You've got to drop that other stuff because it's, it's taking your energy and your focus away from what you really need to focus on. This is about focusing. Things are going to be moving really fast for you next week. This is about opposing forces, right? This is really interesting because, <clears throat> look, I want to hold them all up, right? So you've got these opposing forces, right? Entrapment, giving your power away. And this is about self-worth and taking, owning your power, owning your self-worth, right? And the sun shining on you. And this is good news and opportunity. So this is the solar plexus, how you feel about yourself, right? But you're obviously here, you've given your power away. You've given your power away to someone who's just stealing it from you, stealing your energy, taking advantage of you. And you're feeling trapped for some reason and you will not let it go. You're holding on to it. So this is really drop that. Drop any relationship that is no longer working for you. You know, it's not even like saying it's over. Just take the focus off it. You've, you've got big, you've got, you're so busy. You are going to be really busy. And this is about focusing on you and your path, your self-worth, right? This is loving you and, and these are boundaries, putting boundaries in place. Oh, that's all done. The first half of the week, you're cleaning up. You're cleaning up. You don't have to, you don't have to return calls. You don't have to, um, you don't have to uh, be held hostage by anyone. You know, you don't have to please someone that's not, that doesn't deserve it. You don't have to, don't give, just be careful about what you give away. And that means your time, your energy, and your talent, don't. Don't give it away anymore. It's, this is about focusing on you, giving it to yourself, your self-worth. This is fast energy. Things are really gonna pick up for you. And it's gonna be, you're going to have to focus on you and not anyone else anyway. You don't have time for that other stuff. All that is, is a distraction. Being there for someone else for free, right? And just giving of yourself is distracting you from your life purpose and what you're meant to be doing. So this is about getting busy and focusing on yourself and letting everything else go. You can't be there for people anymore. Those people that you're not getting anything in return from, you know? Um except frustration you're just getting frustration and feeling trapped with those people so you've got to ask yourself who those people are and you've just got to move on and you know you're not going to have time for that anyway things are looking amazing for you but this is asking you for balance and really be focused you've really got to you've you've really got to rest rest and meditate and focus on your self-esteem, self-worth, because this amazing opportunities are coming into the, yeah, listen, you're being, the light shining on you, Cancer. You know, you're being seen. You really are. Things are really happening for you at a fast pace. This is great, great energy, but you've got to let go of things that aren't working for you in order for this to really take off. So don't, you know, don't waste any energy on, on things that are taking your time away from you. Either things or, you know, sometimes it's somebody who's 
got a job and they have their life purpose it's like you know sometimes you've got to take the energy away from the job and just focus on your life purpose because that's where you're meant to be and that's your self-esteem so cancer <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in i love you all and i'll see you next week and i want to find out i want to hear what's going on with you guys how this played out who did you let go of what did you let go of and how things turned around for you. All right. Mwah. Love you all. See you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.